In this video, I have compiled a list of the top 5 best soldering stations in the market that are worth buying. So let's get started. Number 5 Weller's value price WLC100 doesn't skimp on capabilities. Its 40 watts provide enough power for most DIY projects that don't require soldering an entire control board. Weller's reputation ensures accurate analog temperature settings that produce top quality results. A wrapped wire iron holder keeps the work surface safe from the iron's hot tip, and a built-in tray for wet sponges helps users keep the iron clean. Replaceable elements and tips, unusual for lower-end soldering stations. Make this a standout tool in the budget price range. Number 4 Eho's hot air rework and soldering station offers some automatic features that make it worth the upgrade price. Four digital gauges show the hot air gun's temperature, the soldering iron's temperature, the voltage in use, and the amps the machine is drawing. While this can get confusing, it allows the user to fine-tune the settings for excellent results. The machine's 75-watt soldering iron hits the temperatures between 392 and 896 degrees Fahrenheit, while the hot air gun produces temperatures between 212 and 896 degrees Fahrenheit. Yehus 853D2A features automatic temperature readings and maintains its temperature, so the user can move quickly between joints without losing time. Safety shutoffs automatically engage if the fan stops running during use. It comes with a desoldering pump, swappable tips for both iron and fan, and a built-in voltmeter. Number 3 Our third choice for the best soldering station in 2022 is still the Weller We 1010NA. It's still not perfect but it fits the price performance range we look for our number 3 spot. Perfect cost significantly more. It's got all the right features and specifications and won't break the bank. The Weller We 1010 NA is a fantastic soldering station. I've been using the previous generation of this station for going on 3 years and it's served me very well. This new version has some pretty serious upgrades. It's got a much larger backlit LCD screen, and the overall form factor of the case has been significantly reduced in size. The station has a powerful 70 watt specification to make keeping up with heat demand more than acceptable. It has an intelligent standby mode to save you some electricity when your solder joints take a little longer than you'd want, but not long enough to turn the iron off. The iron is affordable, well built and highly reliable. Number 2 Anyone thinking of getting into a rework project should equip themselves with a top-notch hot air rework station. Yehus 862 BD Plus could provide the ideal setup for home DIY electronic repair benches. It offers a digital temperature display, a hot air gun, and a soldering iron. It also comes with swappable tips for both the air gun and the soldering iron so users can choose exactly the right tip for the job. A 75-watt soldering iron, it reaches temperatures between 392 and 896 degrees Fahrenheit, while the air gun has a range of 212 to 896 degrees Fahrenheit. A safety shutoff immediately shuts the air gun down when it's in the holder. The device includes a tip cleaning station as well. Just keep in mind that this large rework station will require some desk space. Number 1 For an all-around, can-do soldering station, DIY technicians should check out Hakko's FX888D23 by Digital Solder Station. This 70-watt contact style soldering station features a wide range of temperatures, plenty of wattage, and a good value. A digital display allows users to dial in the perfect temperature between 120 and 899 degrees Fahrenheit. Replaceable tips mean users can swap out burnt tips and continue using this tool for years to come. A tip cleaning station allows for cleaning off the tip of the iron to maintain the best possible soldered joints, free of excessive oxidation and flux. One note, 
The main station and the cleaning station are separate, which can get confusing and take up a bit of space. Thanks for watching guys, that's all for now I hope you guys liked this video, if this video is helpful to you, please make sure to like comment and subscribe, hope to see you guys in the next video.